Balanta are an ethnic group living in modern-day Senegal, the Gambia, and Guinea-Bissau. They are the most prominent and populous tribe in Guinea-Bissau, where they make up about a quarter of the population. Despite their numbers, they have been marginalized outside of the colonial and post-colonial state, mostly because of discrimination and in part because of their unique social organization. Their name means those who resist, which was coined by the Mandinka when they were expanding their kingdom of Kabu during the 12th century AD. The Mandinka found that there was one particular group that they could not conquer, so they started calling these people Balanto, which literally means they resisted. Before that, Balanto were known as Brasa, which in their language meant we remain. To this day, many Balanta still refer to themselves in this manner. The Balanta originated in the Nile Valley, which in modern times consists of the countries of Egypt, Sudan, South Sudan, and Ethiopia. An analysis of Balanta mitochondrial DNA revealed that they possess the M1 gene marker, a gene commonly found in the Nile Valley, specifically in Sudan. I may also note that the Balanta share a specific cultural similarity to the Nuba people of Sudan whereas they both possess their own form of traditional wrestling that are similar to each other. According to oral traditions, the Balanta migrated out of the Nile Valley area from the time of the 10th to 14th century CE in order to escape, I quote, drought and wars. Today, the Balanta are mostly found in the southern and central regions of Guinea-Bissau. In the late 19th and early 20th centuries, Portugal mounted pacification campaigns against the resistant Balanta and subjugated them to appointed Fulbe or Fulani chiefs. Because of the Portuguese repression, the Balanta enlisted as soldiers in great numbers and were principal supporters of the African Party for the Independence of Guinea and Cape Verde, otherwise known as the PAIGC in the nationalist struggle for liberation during the 1960s and the 1970s. Many Balanta resented their exclusion from the government. Their prominence in military spurred a series of Balanta-led coup attempts in the 1980s. There are many different subgroups of Balanta, all speaking their own dialect of the Balanta language, but are all able to understand each other. Some of these include the Brasa, Kentohe, and Hakra, Ganja, and Pech, just to name a few. The Balanta are fishermen, herders, and cultivators. They grow millet, rice, peanuts, cashews, and fruit for a cash crop. Their specialty, though, is the culture of the cashew, which they derive from the apple wine cashew called the kaju. The export to India of cashew nuts also provides an important economic force in the Balanta villages. Raising cattle is also a traditional activity predominant as the sacrifice of cattle is important in all stages of life, including initiation, marriage, death, and etc. The back of the Guinea-Bissau's 50 peso note shows two farmers wielding an agricultural tool that is called the kimbinde. These tools are used by the balanza to prepare the soil for planting crops, which is usually rice. Use of the kibinde is an art that has been per perfected over the years by the Balanta people who deservedly hold a reputation as expert farmers. Along with intricate irrigation systems that mix salt water and fresh water, they manage to maintain nutrients in the soil and achieve excellent yields. After the harvest, the Balanta people have a celebration called the Kasunde, where non-initiated men compete in dancing and wrestling. The Balanta value equality and independence above all else. They have a very egalitarian social structure, which is why the Portuguese found them hard to control. Organization and power resides within families and clans that occupy a specific region or township. This differs from the traditional West African system of chiefs, who normally are in charge of a whole village. Instead, there is a council of elders who get together whenever big decisions need to be made on behalf of the village. These councils normally consist of initiated men and sometimes women. Another staple of the Balanta society 
is its age group's class system. As men and women progress in maturity, they are initiated into various age classes where they learn their place in Balanta society. One of the most significant aspects of the Balanta culture is Fanato. Fanato is a sort of mystery school in which men are initiated into upon reaching the highest level of maturity. Usually when they have become a landowner and have taken on family responsibilities, they are chosen by their maternal uncle to participate in these rites of passage. Once chosen, Balanta men cannot refuse their family's wishes. The Fanato is a two-month process in the sacred woods, which is the ultimate phase of initiation rites. Anyone who is not Brasa is forbidden from setting foot in the Balanta territory while Fanato is taking place. This is notoriously known throughout the country, and the penalty for this can be severe and even fatal. Circumcision and initiation during the Fanato ritual opens the doors of maturity, wisdom, and high standing in the Balanta community. What is imparted to the initiates during the Fanato not only concerns their entire culture, but also how to behave with others, how to manage their family, and how to live as adults and men. The tests and trials are hard, to the point where some people face physical suffering, mutilation, and some even death. After two months in the sacred woods, the initiate, if survived, is ready re to return to his family as a new man. Nothing remains of the place where the rite was held. Everything is burnt and jealously guarded in secret by those who took part. Mothers learn of the fate of their son only on arrival to the village of the new man. The most valiant initiates that do survive emerge from the sacred woods to songs of their bravery by family and friends. The initiate then wears a bright red hat to show that he has become Lante Ndang, a brave man. And the following day, he is allowed to serve on the council of elders who manages village life. The late former president of Guinea-Bissau, Kumbayala, was a member of the Balanta people and was often seen wearing a red hat as a sign that he had completed the Fanato initiation. The Balanta practice indigenous spiritual customs and rites. In the Balanta society, the word for God is Nyale or Nyala and is believed to be very far away. Communication with the Almighty is established through their spiritual practices and traditions. Although Catholicism has been partially accepted, Islam is predominant and is practiced along with their unique spirit worship. The Balanta play a gourd lute instrument called the Kasinta, which is similar to other West African lutes like the Akonting and Buchundo. This instrument is said to be the precursor to the banjo, which was made popular by African slaves in the American South and Caribbean and was integral to the early jazz and blues creation. In addition to the Kasinta, the Balanta also play a 24 key balafon, also known as the Bombalum. A few significant historical Balanta people include Amilcar Cabral, a Bissau Guinean and Cape Verdean agricultural engineer, intellectual, poet, theoretician, revolutionary, political organizer, nationalist, and diplomat. He was one of Africa's foremost anti-colonial leaders and led Guinea-Bissau to its independence via the PAIGC. Kumba Yala, the former president of Guinea-Bissau, who fought for the independence in his teenage years and was also an accomplished multilingual scholar and professor. Colonel Paolo Correa, first vice president of Guinea-Bissau. Dr. Viriatu Pam, former attorney general for Guinea-Bissau and former lawyer working in Libsyn, Portugal. Dr. Luis Fonachuda, a Bissau Guinean scientist and mathematician who studied in Russia and figured out various revolutionary formulas. He also has a high school in Guinea-Bissau named after him. Other famous Balanta include Binyan, an award-winning musician and recording artist from Guinea-Bissau. Welkit Bungye, a rising star actor who was known for his television performances in Brazil and Portugal. Augusto Madonna, a Bissau Guinean freestyle wrestler who competes in the men's middleweight category. 
He has represented Guinea-Bissau in the Olympics since the year 2008 and has went up against some of the best wrestlers in the world, such as Jordan Burroughs from the United States. He is currently the number one African champion in the world. Bruma, a Portuguese professional footballer who plays for the German club RB Leipzig as a winger. Sadio Mane, a Senegalese professional footballer who also plays as a winger for the Premier League club Liverpool, as well as the Senegalese national team. Finally, some notable Balanta descendants include Tom Joyner, an accomplished American radio personality and talk host of the Tom Joyner Morning Show. Antonio Marcus Carter, also known as Tony Carter, was a running back drafted to the NFL in 1994 and played for teams such as the Chicago Bears, New England Patriots, Denver Broncos, and Green Bay Packers. And last but not least, yours truly, Arasa Malik. <laughs>